For today's video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the infinite loop trap that I created in my Plankerton Storm Shield. And this one's located at the amplifier that's towards the west of the Storm Shield. Also, if you want to see gameplay of this infinite loop that I created, then be sure to check out the link that's in the description. But before we get into the walkthrough, I did want to show a couple of examples of where I use the infinite loop in regular missions. In this first example, we used it in a level 70 deliver the bomb mission. And while I'm showing the gameplay, I did want to quickly point out a couple of things that you're going to need in order to make an infinite loop. All right, so the first thing you'll need is to have the objective near either a cliff or the edge of the map. It has to be on a different elevation in regards to the surrounding terrain and the bigger the elevation the better. So if the objective that you have to defend is near a two story cliff, that's going to be better than an objective that's near a one story cliff. But in this example, the infinite loop is located next to a one story cliff. So it's definitely possible to do it with small cliffs. And the second thing you'll need are either wall launchers or floor launchers. In this example, we used wall launchers. And I prefer to use wall launchers because it launches them further than floor launchers to ramp combo. But there are a couple of situations where it's better to use floor launchers with ramps. And yeah, basically what you want to do is line up a bunch of wall launchers alongside the cliff that's near the objective. And when the husk walk towards the objective, they're going to get launched by those wall launchers. And they're going to have to walk back up the ramp in order to get back to the objective. And again, when they walk back up the ramp and walk towards the objective, the wall launcher should have reloaded by then and they'll knock them off of the cliff again and that's why it's called the infinite loop because it's designed in a way to keep the husk walking in a loop over and over again so yeah those are the two things you're going to need you're going to need an objective that's near a cliff and you're also going to need wall launchers or floor launchers and ramps i do want to quickly show another example of an infinite loop that i created and this was in a level 58 fight the storm mission where you have to defend the atlas and as you can see the atlas is located directly next to a big cliff so what we did for this example was we placed wall launchers along the path that the husk will walk to get to the objective and as you see this cliff is a lot bigger than the cliff that i showed previously and it launched the husk further which means it's going to take them more time to get back to the objective and i'm not going to show the entire gameplay of this mission i just wanted to show some highlights of the infinite trap being used in regular missions but if y'all do want to see the entire gameplay of either of these missions let us know in the comments below and i can upload them either later today or tomorrow and one example where you might want to use a floor launcher instead of a wall launcher is in this example right here because for this particular mission the husk can attack the atlas from above as well so what i did was place a floor launcher directly above the atlas which is most likely where they would end up attacking and then i put a ramp above that floor launcher in order to move them ahead one space and when they get launched into that next tile we have another wall launcher that pushes them off and forces them to start over so yeah i'm not going to be showing the entire gameplay of these infinite loops because there was no commentary on these gameplays but i did want to show some highlights of the infinite loop being used in regular missions but yeah to sum things up all you'll need is an objective that's near a cliff and wall or floor launchers all right so now that we got that out of the way i'm going to go ahead and show you how i built around this amplifier and this is the amplifier that's towards the west of the main storm shield so yeah there's three different directions where the husk will attack this amplifier one is from the north and they'll stop spawning from the north once you open up this amplifier and yeah when they attack from the north usually they'll go in this direction and you can place traps right here if you want and they'll go up this ramp and behind these two walls is another ramp that they'll try to walk up and get to the amplifier that way so you can place traps all along here if you like to protect from those that spawn from the north but again once you open up this amplifier over here they'll stop spawning in this direction so yeah towards the north is one place where they can spawn they can also spawn towards the west and when they spawn towards the west they can go in two different directions uh, one is going to be up that ramp and they can go through our tunnel and try to get to the amplifier that way and the other way is to go up this ramp and try to get to our amplifier this way so before we get into the infinite loop, which is in this direction, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tunnel that I've built over here. And again, we have a wall launcher here to make a small infinite loop just in case they come up this ramp. And we also have a floor launcher with a ramp to make another small infinite loop for those that come up this side of the ramp. And yeah, I'll go ahead and walk through the tunnel real quick just for those who wanted to see it. Uh, as you can see when we look at the floor traps, I use all different types of floor traps because the wooden floor spikes and the freeze traps 
give a chance for my other traps to reload. And if you look at the walls that are in the corner, usually I'll put wall darts on those wall corner pieces and I'll put wall dynamos on the walls that are in the tunnel. Usually they don't make it this far, but if they did make it this far, they would continue in this direction and try to get to the amplifier through this wall because behind this wall is the amplifier. So that's how we built the tunnel for the husks that try to get to the amplifier on the left side. I'll go ahead and show you how we built on the right side as well. Uh, we'll start here at the amplifier directly next to it. We have these little traps right here and the way they get to this area is from up here. Again, normally they don't make it this far, but for those who go on the right, they can either go down this hallway towards the infinite loop, which we'll go over next, or they can go through this trap right here. And I have no idea what to call this trap, but when they spawn out here and go in this direction, again, usually they'll either go towards the infinite loop or they'll come in this way. And I'll go ahead and run through this maze real quick just to show you what it looks like all the way to the amplifier. Uh, we do have some stairs right here to help us get up to the second level. I kind of wanted to watch them as they go through this trap, but again, they never really make it this far. But yeah, we left the opening right here and we wanted them to jump down and try to get to the amplifier this way. As for how we built down here, we used a bunch of different ceiling traps, a bunch of different floor traps, some different wall traps as well. Uh, but once they try to get to the amplifier, because they can get to the amplifier through these walls right here. So we put up some wall launchers to push them this way into our DPS traps, wall dynamos and retractable floor spikes. And we have another wall launcher over here to push them into our same traps right here. But yeah, they can try to attack these walls to get to the amplifier. And this is how we built in this area. So now that we get that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you the infinite loop. Now when they spawn up here and go towards the ramp, again, they're going to have to go in this direction towards the infinite loop. And we didn't add a lot of traps here because we didn't want to kill them before they got to the infinite loop. We did add a couple traps here just to make sure we didn't have too many husks coming in this direction. But usually they'll go in this direction to try to get to the amplifier. And that's why we have wall launchers right here to push them out. And sometimes the wall launcher can't push them over this cliff. And sometimes it doesn't, which is why we put floor launchers right here with the ramp. So just in case they don't get pushed over the cliff, we have floor launchers to help push them over the cliff. But yeah, if they kept going in this direction, they can get to the amplifier by attacking these walls right here. And again, we have wall launchers to push them off just in case they do. Another thing we did to help push them off is we put a floor launcher right here with another ramp. So as soon as they come towards our infinite loop, they can get launched off this way. But yeah, that about sums it up for the first level of the infinite loop. I'm going to go ahead and jump down and show you what it looks like if they get knocked off of this cliff. Uh, if they get right here, they're going to get knocked off with this wall launcher and have to start over. If they get knocked off from this side of the cliff, we have more wall launchers to knock them off. And as you can see, there's only one tile here, so we didn't need floor launchers and ramps. We just used wall launchers. But usually they'll come in this direction to attack the amplifier and try to get to it this way. And for the husk to actually come around this way, we have another wall launcher to push them off and force them to start over. So that's it for the second level of our infinite loop. And at the very bottom, we have more wall launchers. And since this is two tiles, we have floor launchers with more ramps to knock them off. So yeah, on this third level of the infinite loop, we have more wall launchers, some freeze traps, some more floor launchers. And when they try to get to the amplifier, they'll attack this wall because there's a ramp behind this wall. So they'll attack this and try to go up the ramp. But usually they get knocked off before they get a chance to. And when they get knocked off, I'll go ahead and show y'all what it looks like when they get knocked off. And when they get knocked off with our launchers, they get launched down here. They have to run up the hill and then run up this hill. And then they run up this hill as well to try to get back to the amplifier. And again, when they come this way, they usually attack one of these two walls to try to get up the ramp behind these walls. And when that happens, hopefully our wall launchers push them out and force them to start over. So yeah, that about sums up the infinite loop that we built in Plankerton. Definitely one of my favorite trap designs, whether it's for storm shield defenses or regular missions. If I ever see an objective near a cliff, I usually end up trying to build an infinite loop. I will be leaving a link in the description showcasing this build we have right here anyways as of right now we've already done two amplifiers we did the slingshot and we also did the infinite loop 
Let me know which amplifier you all would like to see next. Do you want to see the death row trap? Would y'all like to see the multi-layered trap? Or would y'all like a walkthrough of how I built around the amplifier that's towards the east? Let me know which of these three you would like to see next. Anyways, I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for